Hello, all of you divine and beautiful people. We are coming towards the end of a very grand and magnificent international Gita conference at Sunnyvale Hindu Temple today. Almost around 1500 people marked their gracious presence to listen to divine national and international speakers. And this great conference was organized by none other than the founder of Path to Anandam, a very well perceived organization dedicated towards blissful living and Dr. Satya Kalra is right here with us. Welcome Satya ji to IND TV USA with me Jasleen Khanuja. First of all a huge congratulations on the grand success of this beautiful creative spiritual divine event. How did you conceptualize this great show? Namaste and uh, that was I have been always thinking about the application of Bhagavad Gita and the theme of the Bhagavad Gita conference was Bhagavad Gita in modern times, applying the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita in modern times. So I think it was all the th thoughts were coming from the divine. I just executed whatever the messages I got from Lord Krishna, from divine power and I think it is all his doing. And I'm so thankful that he chose me for this wonderful event. Absolutely. You're totally blessed to have executed such a divine event at such a large scale and at such a level, you know, international global conference with so many people from all walks of life and so many saints uh, across the country and from India as well. So tell us into what went into orchestration of such a big conference. God's blessing. That's all I could say. I, Any time I had a doubts, I had a confusions, discouragements, I just sat close my eyes and say, please guide this Arjuna who is sitting on behind your seat. Please drive this chariot and let this divine play take place. And I think he was truly here today. That's the way. The energy was so strong. I felt like Lord Krishna was sitting right here. Absolutely. I did feel that cosmic presence of Lord Krishna in this hall today as well. And because of the presence of so many saints, it almost felt like we are in heaven. You know, it was a bliss to be here. And you talk about blissful living. So tell us more about this concept and about 108 Mantra, the great book that you released today, which is already a best-selling book online. Actually, I have been practicing Bhagavad Gita's teachings for over 25 years. And any time I had a challenges in my life, I would go and take one mantra which helped me a lot. And this is how the accumulation of 108 mantras happen. And I call them 108 formulas. Being a scientist myself, everything is formulas in the science and in the chemistry and biochemistry. And uh, to me, Gita offers the formulas, answers, and solutions to the problems of our daily life. And these mantras are for solving the issues, facing the challenges in life, whether they are the health issues, whether they are the emotional issues, whether they are the social issues, relationship issues, financial issues, all answers are there. And that's how the accumulation of those 108 mantras happened. It took me 25 years to accumulate those mantras and practice them. And whatever worked, I put them in the form of book. So all these 108 mantras pertain to which deity? That's one thing. And the second thing is I have heard that 108 is a typical number. You know, even the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra, which creates a typical protective shield around the body when you recite it for 108 times, you know. So, so how does this concept of 108 come from? Actually, these, all these mantras are from Bhagavad Gita. So these are all the shlokas from Bhagavad Gita, but when they help me in particular situation, then I use them, those mantras, and that's why in that book, it's called Confusion to Decision. So the mantra, or if you want to take a jealousy out of you, then there's a beautiful mantra, chapter 12, 13, Adveshta Sarva Bhuta Naam, Mitra Karun Evcha, 
nirmamo nirankara sam dukha sukha shami. So that mantra takes the jealousy out of you, gives you the friendship with the whole universe. And all the friends, no gila shikwa, no complaints, it's just anandam hi anandam. And uh, 108, why 108? 108, it comes to a 9. And if you take the number 9, it always ends with the 9. There is always a one number, 9, 18. Then two numbers are 23rd, 27. So three numbers are missing. So similarly, they keep going into that cycle. So it's an infinite number. And that's why it is known as 108 mantras. And I put it in this way, then these 108 mantras take you to one mantra, and that's the only mantra, happiness, Sat Chit Ananda. What is the key to attain ad abundance as well as have self-realization? Take full responsibility of your action. Do not blame anybody. And... Focus on righteousness. Whatever you do, do it with the best of your ability, with love and compassion. Like I'm talking to you right now. I have to make sure I'm looking at your beautiful eyes, your beautiful smile, and I'm connecting from heart to heart. So I'm not talking just to you, just because I'm talking to you with your mind. No, I'm talking to this beautiful soul, the heart where Lord Krishna says that I sit in everybody's heart. So I am looking that beautiful heart within your body. Awesome. So I will recall from uh, chapter 2, mantra 48, uh, shlok 48, I would rather say, you know, samatvam yog uchchate, you know, yog is the ability to conquer uh, success or failure, you know, regardless of the results, you get to have that detached attachment. So this philosophy of being in samta or being in that state of equilibrium, the state of stability, even though you don't attain the results, is a pretty high thing because it's very hard when you are trying very hard to attain something and you, you're aspiring for something, you want the results. How do you achieve that and in what regard do you think we can apply it in the present day con context? You know, I can give you an example of this conference. There were few challenges, of course sometimes I would say quite a few challenges, but then at the end of the day I sat down and I said, look, I'm not doing anything for myself. In Bhagavad Gita it says, Lord Krishna says, whoever propagates my message is the dearest to me. So I said, God, if Lord Krishna, if I'm really dear to you, please help me. And you believe it or not, before I would think about it and the manifest and manifestation will happen and the things will start happening. So, the message is Samatva Yoga Uchyate, Samta. When we call it Samta, stability, that stability means no stress. When we don't have any stress in life, we get connected to the Supreme. So, the Gita takes the stress out of you. Any time, if I'm stressful, I just take my Bhagavad Gita, start reading. Not only I start reading it, all of a sudden the message is coming. I start to, like, I feel like I'm sitting in front of the thousand people and I'm just start giving the discourses. I start talking. All like Lord Krishna is talking to me through me. And but samatva yog uchchate, yog means union. Union happens when we are calm. And the calmness comes from by reading, practicing reading, of course, but by practicing. Unless we practice it, nothing is going to happen. So what kind of yoga is referred to here? You know, is it the bhakti yoga? Is it karma yoga? Is it jnana yoga? Actually, Gita has 18 chapters. Every chapter is called yoga. Means every chapter has a path to anandam. So... Before we get to the karma yoga, bhakti yoga, jnana yoga, start, what Gita starts with? Vishad yoga, dispotency yoga, confusion yoga. So even when we are in difficult situation, if we unite ourselves with God, that becomes yoga, as Swamiji said. 
Why me? Try me. Try me comes only when I'm connected. So connection is the key. Yoga means union, connection. Every path is connection. So action is art of living. Anything you do, do it righteously with love and compassion with best of your ability. Then it becomes karma yoga, your ability, your skills becomes jnana yoga. And when you do it with love, there is bhakti yoga. So you cannot separate it. Anything you do, all the yogas are included. And then at the end, Lord Krishna says, Sarva dharma paritajje mamekam sharanam braj. Aham tam sar papebhyo. Moksha shami mashuche. Means, do everything with your best effort. But, give it to me. Don't worry about the results. I will take care of you. Just come to me. In other words, whatever we do, we work with that thought. And when we work with that thought, then everything we do is yoga. When I'm breathing, I'm focusing on my breath. It's a breathing yoga. When I'm thinking right, both buddhi yuktos, that's a buddhi yoga. Whatever we do, bhakti yoga, when we have a love in our heart, that's a, any action we do. All the three yogas must be practiced. Even the surrender yoga must be practiced. Means do your best and let go. Let go is a surrender yoga. So anything you do in your life is a yoga. That's what Gita itself is a yoga. Even if you think about, people talk about the yoga nowadays. What is yoga? It's the modern form of Gita. So all the chapters of yoga, all the paths of yoga are combined there. And they take us to ultimate purpose of our life. Smile, be happy, be in anandam, and give it to others, and make this world a better place to live, not just for ourselves, for our children, and generation to come, and of course, for everybody else. Make this world a beautiful place, but only way we can do it, when we find the beauty within ourselves. So viewers, I believe that you have imbibed the triple A strategy given out by Dr. Satya Kalra, which is self-awareness, self-analysis, and self-action. Well, that's a great concept. You have really imbibed Gita in the true sense, and I hope, viewers, you have followed it as well. Thanks again for putting up this wonderful, wonderful conference and for giving out the divine vibes to so many people who have made it here today at Sunnyvale Hindu Temple. Thanks a ton for speaking with IND TV USA today. We truly appreciate your valuable time and words of wisdom. Thank you. Thank you very much. माते संगोत्सव कर्मणि हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare